Dude, what in the world is going on? I don't even... <laughs> Weeks later. What is this place? Do I... Do I know it? Leah. Oh, we're in New York? That's Lydia of all people. Oh, we're like a hobo. <coughs> we don't have money. All of our family's dead. It's just how it is. They're not gonna give you food for free! Uh, hi. Listen. <clears throat> I... I'm hungry. What? Could I... You got no money or what? No. Then get lost! I said get lost! Oh. A girl all by herself. Out in the streets of New York. Gotta find food quickly. Avalon. Food? Is someone random gonna give you food in their house? Hello? Hello, is somebody there? Go away! Stop bugging me! I don't blame them. I wouldn't open the door for a random lady either. Oh, look at those cars. So it's currently 2044, I think. Weeks after when we first got scanned and synced? Whatever that means. No vacancy. Excuse me? Uh, hello, could you please open up? Get lost, or I'll call the cops! You don't have any money though, so even if they open up for you, wouldn't have done you any good. Oh, handyman. Hey, you got a few credits for me? Sorry, I got nothing. It's more like the other way around. <laughs> you got a cigarette at least? No. Pe people like you should be beaten to death. People like me? You know exactly what I mean. What? I'm a hobo too! Hey, don't judge me. It looks a bit menacing. Uh, I won't be getting scared with that thing. Oh, that's when they first yeah, implemented a this. for the colony? It can't be that bad. What's there to do on Mars? Mars. Oh, I think we saw this in the very beginning cutscene, the very first cutscene. We saw a robot walking across the cell, this nano cell. Whoa. Wait, are you a person? You're so jagged. I thought you were a robot for a second. Huh. Jamaica Avenue. Hello? Please, can someone please help me? Fine, fine. I'm coming already. No need to scream, okay? <coughs> halt! Do not move! Oh no. I haven't done anything. What are you doing here? Where are you going? I... Officer, she's visiting. Is she now? ID, please. Davis, Angela. ID 245-432, Sector 57, West Queens. You live here? Yes. Come in, sweetie. Can I go? Yes. Idiots. Somebody actually helped me. Angela. What happened? What, what did they want? I can't take this anymore. I just can't. Should I make a call? I just can't. Okay. Okay. Come in first. Oh, 
You look terrible. What's your name? Lydia. Okay, Lydia. I'm Angela. So, what's going on? What are you doing here? Uh, I have to rest. You can't go home? I don't have one. You live on the street. Let me get you something to drink. Thank you for letting me in. To your home. Better? Much better. Okay, talk to me. Or, uh, would you rather rest up first? Can I take a look around? Of course, go for <laughs> it. You're being a little bit too demanding. She gave you all this stuff. You should listen to whatever she wants you to do. Smarthorn. Oh, fridge. It's the fridge. Student! She's a student here. Everyone has really spacious apartments. Yeah, we're not looking through people's computers. View of Sector 57, Queens, Danger Level 4. This area is under heavy surveillance. Follow orders given by security personnel. Why? Why is it under surveillance? Queens is a dump now. I like it. I'd be happy if I could live here. Hmm. Books. That for some reason when I get close? Okay. Upgrade available. You can get a digital version. Are you a student? Mm-hmm. Journalism. Me too. What? What? So Lydia's a journalist too. Oh. Samantha Davis, Humphrey Davis, from Portland. Parents? That's mom and dad. Pretty dorky, huh? I think they're sweet. I don't have a single photo of my parents anymore. I deleted everything. Hmm. Then you must have been mad at them. I was. And you regret it now? I don't know. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Probably. You can't have the nice memories anymore. It's all gone. Blocked automatic tracking of this piece of furniture. You're tired, huh? Where did you sleep last night? At the old subway entrance on the street. And where will you stay tonight? Here? If you let me? Do you want to stay here? Yes? I just need a little rest. <laughs> you don't say. Listen, you're completely exhausted. You're staying here. But I... No discussion. You can sleep on the couch. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Angela. That's really, really nice of her to be doing for somebody who doesn't- who she doesn't know at all. Seriously. Made in the Robotextile Facility, Bangladesh. Jason Rodkin. Oh, the owner has rescinded his rights to ownership. What? Is that like an ex-boyfriend or something? Oh, technology and these privacy rights and whatnot, it's getting crazy. You two have it nice here. Us two? I thought, because of the jacket. He moved out. Oh, it's Jason's. He moved out last summer. Damn it, why do I know this already? What? I just kept the jacket because, well, actually, I don't know why. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's fine. I'm happy he's gone. Look, the magazine. It's Drone Gate, the voice. I'm guessing Adam knows because Richard knows. Maybe Lydia told Richard. <coughs> Oof, that doesn't sound good at all. It's fine, just hurts a little. Hey, you don't happen to have any painkillers for me? Yeah, there are some in the bathroom. Thanks. Can I take another look around? Yeah, sure. <laughs> we were done already? No, I just wanted to talk to you, that's all. Ooh! What was this? Oh. Okay. Maybe we don't wanna... They're my work clothes. I thought you were studying. Oh. I am, but I gotta pay for it somehow. Uh-huh. It's just cyber sex, babe. I thought only avatars did that stuff now. Or bots. Oh, no. There are still guys out there that want to see a real girl. Oh, okay. Lots of different technologies going on here, and oh... This world. There's a lot going on. Rescinding ownership to clothes, and... Girls working online as a 
cybersex working girl? Oh, okay. It's crazy. Neuromexathenol? Cures pain, depression, neurotransmitter dysfunction. <coughs> oh god. What's wrong, sweetie? You should see a doctor with that kind of cough. No, 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 I'm fine. What's wrong with me? I'm the real one, right? I got scanned a few weeks earlier, but then what happened after that? Oh my gosh. That could be your boyfriend. No, she just said. Yeah, that guy moved away. Is that Jason? Yes. He looks nice. You can have him. <laughs> I don't need him either. Really? You got someone? Well, you're in love. Something like that. <laughs> oh, come on, that's great! What? <laughs> he doesn't know, and he's married with a kid. Maybe you know him. Me know him? Hmm. Huh. Now I'm curious. I saw that you have a picture of him lying around. You're kidding. Wait, I'll show you the picture. So she was like a secret admirer? Oh, because I'm a journalist, and he did the whole drone gate thing, so I'm really like, admiring him? But that translates to a relationship? How did we even get in contact? Here, that's him. What? That's your crush? You know him? You've fallen in love with Richard Nolan? You don't like him? Kinda old for you, isn't he? No. Why? And he has a wife. <laughs> He's famous. You're homeless. His wife is a supermodel. I mean, he doesn't even know you. Or have you been in contact with him? Of course not. What would I say? Uh, well, that you like him? I can't just... <laughs> Why not? Should I do it for you? Don't you dare. How could you contact him? <laughs> wow, that was bizarre. You have new cloud messages. Hey, sweetie. Listen, we'll have to postpone the cloud call a little bit. Just calling to let you know. <laughs> Kisses. Ew. <coughs> You're scum, Richard. You're scum. Hey, I'm at the drugstore. What do you need? Oh, so it seems like we've just been living with her for the longest of times. That tea. Remember the one you brought me? Sure, but don't you dare not go to the doctor this week. Yeah, yeah. Not today, though. I have a customer. Who? Hmm. That creep from Portland? Oh, stop it. I hope not. Don't take any crap, okay? Sure, Mama. Okay. Take care of yourself. Wait a minute. How much rent do I still owe you? 375 credits. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. That's how much it is. See you later. Kiss. I guess we followed in her line of work, cause I'm homeless, I don't really have any skills, and that's what she's doing, so why not? Cyber Rush? Iggy Starstruck. We've seen these posters before, at Doomsday. Is that how I met Richard? Yeah, because I work at Secret, and then... Like, how do we even come in contact? With our thoughts, we make the world. And then you spell Buddha wrong. <laughs> Lone Alley, live in concert. Wow. We've just been making a life here. Yeah, all sorts of wigs and like, work clothes. Damn. She even seemed so in love. I mean, oh, no, no, no. I mean, Richard. Richard seems so in love with Tracy. And now, like, why is he... Is it because Tracy's dead already? And then... No, no, everyone knows. She's a supermodel. What? What in the world? Okay, that should be the last thing we do. Anything over here? That's pretty much it. There are new updates available. Download a voice recognition app to protect yourself from unwanted visitors and known criminals. These light blocking currents must be registered. Registration has not yet occurred. Again, 
The technology of the future comes with a lot of like little changes in society. Privacy protection and all. Welcome to Secret, Crystal 249. There is a customer already waiting for you. Chatbot Smith. Hi. Hello, 249. Can I treat you right, sweetie? Wait, I I'm not sure. What? It's my first time doing this. Well, what are you into? Maybe I can help you. I just want to talk to you. Without any of that, you know. That voice. <laughs> How are you? I don't know. My roommate jumped out of our window today. Whoa. That's... It's okay. I hardly knew him. His work got to him, I guess. I'm not a therapist, man. I'm sorry. What do you want to talk about? Could you tell me your name? I mean, your real name. I'm Tom. I'm Andrea. Hello, Andrea. I'm not gonna say the real name. Don't you have anyone you can talk to? Well, you? <laughs> I have a boyfriend. We hardly talk. Why? He lives in Seattle. We both work a lot. Thanks, Andrea. You know, for listening. I have to go. Wait. Money has been transferred to your account. 100 credits. 100? Really? Hell. That's amazing! You talk for three minutes and a hundred bucks? That's one third of the way. Is that a picture of Richard Nolan? I think it is. Oh my god. You're obsessed. <laughs> That's one third of the way to the rent already. Not everyone's gonna be that nice though. Hey darling, what's up? Hey Crystal. What have you been doing all day? Waiting for you. Oh, I know. Could you do me a favor and change your username to doll? Oh, okay. And what do you plan to do with me? Mm. Uh. <laughs> if you're very quiet, I'll tell you what came to me as I was thinking of you. Okay. Shh. <laughs> Don't say a word. Lay on your back. Uh what came to you? Shh. <laughs> this is creepy. But I need the money, right? Oh, this is ah! It's virtual. And I kind of want to see how it plays out. Although that's maybe that's a little bit messed up. Mm. No. Uh, that's not right. I I'll send you a skin. Put it on. It's virtual. It's uh, okay. You better pay me a lot. A doll skin, a mannequin skin. Put your arms by your side. Uh, he said don't talk. You're lying there. It's so... fake. <laughs> I once saw something about clones. If they had one like you... Whoa! Calm down for now. It's it's virtual. It's, it's oh my god, this is getting really creepy. And now lay on your stomach. Uh, I don't like this. But I'm curious. Oh! No, that's wrong. I'll tell you again. 
so that you understand me, okay? Lay on your stomach, turn your head to the left, and stop breathing. Stop breathing? This guy has a really specific Thoughts. fetish. Don't breathe. What am I paying you for if you can't even understand that? What do I expect from a doll? I can't not breathe. Uh, it's a simple instruction. Turn your head. But you can't do it. Uh, you're not worth my money. What? Oh my god, I did all that? You're getting a bad rating from me. Wow. And that was part of it too. Being afraid that he would give me a bad rating so that I don't get more customers later on. But he gave me a bad one anyway. That was so creepy. Oh my god. There was also kind of a morbid curiosity in seeing what would happen next, but oh, that was just... It made my skin crawl. And in the end, we got nothing for it. Did all that. No money. Only psychological damage. Money has been transferred to your account. 400 credits. Oh! One month's rent? Not bad. <sighs> what am I doing here? Yeah. What exactly was that? That was creepy as hell. Oh my god. But we did get rent. Yeah. Try someone else, you freak. That was that was freaky. Hi, Richard. And feeling okay? Well, sort of. You're not looking too well. Is it your your work? No, I'm tired is all. Because of your work? Cyber sex, Richard. You're allowed to say it. I'm not a whore. People don't even get to touch me. Not physically, at least. So what? Richard Nolan no longer gives a damn about the difference between virtual and real? I don't want to fight, Richard, but your double standards can be confusing. I could always just give you some money. Yeah. Um, no, I'll work for my own. Livelihood. Right, because that won't make me feel like a whore at all. Lydia. I don't want your money, Richard. I'll get by somehow. What I need is... I don't know. A small break from all of this. I could stop by if you want. The... I'm already having an affair with a married man. Of course I would want him to visit. Really? You would? That would be... But what about your wife? You know, Lydia, our relationship isn't the best anymore. Tracy is bitter for ages now. Oh. Yeah, I mean, look at her. Do you get what I mean? The scar? It was so terrible. Since she got the scar, though, she's totally changed on the inside. She didn't die. She got bitter, hardened. It's been like this for years. Okay, so it seems like... Tracy and Richard made it out of the accident okay, but not the son. Not the son. Oh, don't be jealous of a freaking woman who lost her kid in a car crash. I totally get that. And meanwhile, you know, I don't really feel guilty anymore when I meet a girl without a scar. Sounds terrible, What? Right? Yeah, it yeah, does. It does. What an asshole. But, do you know what I mean? I think so. Yeah. So, if you want me to come over, I'd love to, anytime. That would be nice. Yeah? Okay, then I will. I'll sort out a connection and call you back, okay? Okay. Looking forward to it. James? I'm sorry, I have to go, darling. Darling. You're not covering up your tracks very well at home. Okay, I should make things a little more cozy here. Warning! System error! Oh no, oh no! This damned smart home! 
Why now? What the hell's going on? I'll be there in a minute. Perfect. Jamaica Avenue is the right address? Uh, yeah. Number 23. Okay. See you soon. Wait! Looking forward to it. <coughs> Damn it. Oh, my cough is still here. I've had it for years. Stop! Stop! Hey! Not that, too. Richard's coming to visit, you guys. Stop, everybody! Oh, my God. The washing machine. Uh, can't fix it. The laundry? So there's music playing here. No! Why today? Play a romantic song. Damn! Turn that off, turn that off. Music off. <laughs> Not that! Play relaxing music. It's nothing but. No. Play dance music. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess we're not fixing it. He's already here, I think. Oh my dear God. Namaste, Lydia. Let us meditate. <sighs> Oh my god, it's so noisy here. Everything. Hold up. Hey, stop! Stop! Darken. Those are lights. Those are blinds. So nothing's working! Oh my god. Richard? Just a moment. Ugh, off to a great start. Uh, am I not allowed to let him in until I fix this? Because I don't feel like we're actually gonna fix it. Half light. It's not moving at all. Not at all. Ashtray. Come, try this. Oh, thank God. How Good much boy. have you been smoking? Rumu? Is that you? I love cleaning. <laughs> oh, peace and quiet. Well, the music is okay again. How about the blinds? I want to sleep. That's not working. Music is a little bit better now. Oh, we can't change it anymore. Are you still cleaning? That's on. How do I let Richard in? Can I let Richard in? Risk of break-ins. Hi. Please adjust your security system to the legal requirements of the United States of the West. Do I still live with Angela? Oh. This is the problem, isn't it? This? Here we go. Uh. You have placed a washing basket. Would you like to abort the washing cycle? Yes, please. <laughs> you gotta find ways to get around what the robots and the machines want. Instead of just, you know, turning it off manually. <laughs> that sucks. How about now? I can see Richard outside already. I saw it just now. Please. Oh. No? No? I'm still coughing. What is that coughing all about anyway? I want to look out the window. Dude, it's not fixing itself. It's just doing whatever. How do I... How do I fix this? Maybe I can call him? Oh! The voice, Dronegate. Special issue 204. Richard Nolan uncovers Dronegate scandal. Hey, Lydia. What's happened now? Sorry, but your smart home has gone off the rails again. I don't know what to do. Uh, can't you just call the service number? Richard will be here soon. Listen, sweetie. You've been behind on the rent for years now. So no complaining, okay? Angela. You'll do it. Just trick the system. Good luck. 
Oh, behind on the rent? I thought we were doing pretty okay previously. Secret. Meta Central. Not now. Oh. You are reading a book. Would you like appropriate lighting? Yes. Oh. Finally. There we go. Oh my god, that took forever. That use icon wasn't on the books before. Hi, Richard. Hi. Sorry, I just had to... I'll let you in now. <coughs> Damn. I think the whole situation just now was kind of, um, commentary on technology. Hey, here I am. <laughs> Almost on time. Richard, come in. So, yes, there you are. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> I imagined our greeting to be a little more euphoric. You know, with kisses and hugs and all that. What? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Me too. <laughs> hmm. Well, we're just getting started. Please, don't. Don't. No one needs to see this. Please. Is Angela gonna come back home? Please come back home. Yeah. It's following you all the time. This name tag, you can't ever get rid of it. Unless if you go on the black market. How was your trip? Okay. You have pretty intense neighbors. <laughs> oh? Who did you meet? Hopefully not Dyke. Unshaven guy with a hoodie in his mid-fifties? Uh, yeah, that's Dyke. Be careful around him. He sells information. You know, to cops, trashy mags, anyone willing to pay. Oh, great. He recognized me. He also knew I was coming here. Are you worried because of Tracy, that she'll find out where you are? No, no. Feeling guilty? Do you want to leave again? <sighs> if you're worried, then go. I, I don't want to spend an evening with a guy that isn't even really here. <sighs> Nonsense. Of course I want to be here. Fine. Just one more thing. You have to call home, right? I have to. My kid. I would have done it out on the street, but that dyke... It's okay. I understand. I'd also want you to call me. Should I do it outside? You can stay here. I'll go to the bathroom. Going to the bathroom in my own home? He should be the one going to the bathroom. Hey, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry, just calling to say that I arrived well. Yeah, that's all okay. It's a nice hotel. No, no, I'm staying in. Guess I'll be sleeping soon. I'm pretty wiped. Is James doing fine? Give him a kiss for me. Oh, you hypocrite. I gotta run. Yes, yes, of course. I love you too. At least Adam's not like that. Richard is kind of scummy. Are you done with your kid and your wife? Is it time for your mistress yet? Damn it. So, you done? Yeah. Were you listening? It's my goddamn house! <laughs> it's small! At the volume you were talking at? I told you I would have gone outside. You wanted to speak with your son. I did. So what? Tracy is his mother. I love you too. Great. I know. I'm sorry. I need another drink. What did you expect me to say when I'm talking to my family as... As what? A cheater? As a father! <laughs> well, this got off to a great start. Come on, let's open a bottle. Why would Lydia even like him anyway? It's one thing to like a dude because of I his work, but... I want to apologize. For what? I would have reacted the same way. It's me who's the... Well, you know. The jerk. The asshole. Exactly. Irredeemable asshole. It's impossible to change your life without hurting somebody. It's always hard. I don't want to hurt my kid, you know? I know. 
Actually, I'm just jealous. I wish I had a kid. Hmm. You? Do you want more kids? I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if Tracy and I had had no kids. Don't look at me like that. I know how it sounds. James's birth, everything that happened around Kurtz. that time. So horrible. The accident, Tracy's scar. And I don't know. I never really connected with James. Sometimes I think he's not even really my son. As if she just inserted him into my life. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me? That really does sound awful. <gasps> does James know? God, no. But maybe he senses it. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Hello, Betty. Come with me, little robot. John! Oh, damn. The son never survived the car accident and he was inserted into our lives? Is that the implication here? Wow. Oh, I can do the next one right away. Oh. You know, I think this is a really high quality production overall. There's a lot of voice acting and cinematography and the art style is really cool. <laughs> Hello, Richard. What was going on? I couldn't reach you. Made any progress? How did it go? I think that piece of data has been damaged. The scenes seem to be incomplete. Hmm. Did you see anything? Uh, a street. An apartment. There were two women. And you? Two women? What did they look like? Did they have names? One was called... Uh, Lydia? Lydia? You know her, don't you? I know a Lydia, yes. What else did you see? You cheating on your wife? Tell me, Richard. You contacted Lydia for your work, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Why? Just a thought. She talked about you. Okay. What did she say? That you were a famous journalist and whatnot. Oh, well, famous. But yeah, that's why she contacted me. How exactly does that relate to my son? Sorry, I was just curious. These <laughs> simulations are intense. It's not related to anything. I was just asking. <laughs> oh. Your wife, Richard. Tracy? Yeah, what about her? How is your relationship? What do you mean? We're married. Do you get along? Sure. I mean, of course we have our differences, but that's normal. No. She has a scar on her face, correct? Ah, that's where this is going. Yep, she does. As I told you, we had an accident. The scar is pretty bad for her. For a model, too. And for you? What do you mean, for me? I feel sorry for her. I don't have the scar. I'm her husband. I always supported her. By cheating on her? Can you uh, tell me anything about this woman? Where she's coming from, I mean. Uh, her past. No, no idea. Okay. Is there a problem? No, not at all. I... I just have a feeling. The thing that I was gonna say before Richard called us was that like there's a lot of things to like about this game, but I feel like the plot is moving at a snail speed right now. Like what that whole Lydia segment was really just to say that John or James is inserted into our life? We'll have to see more. This accident you mentioned, I I think I've um uh, experienced it? Yeah. I had this feeling as if I w You remember something? But that would be great. But... Your son, Richard. How did he survive that? What do you mean? Well, your wife, um... It didn't seem as if the child survived. Are you insane? Of course James survived. Okay, okay. It's just... Um, it looked like... Uh... My son's alive, Adam! Did you see anything else? Anything about James? No. Keep it up. Send me more data. Okay. Sure, Richard. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit... 
Tracy made it out of the incident okay, but the son. And we also know that Tracy had that scan deal with Kurtz from 18 years ago. What? Oh my god, there's so many little timeline jumps here. Sally. My wife. Amy. Yes. Amy. Did she give you a special task? Help John. Apart from that. Do you have a special request, Adam? I need to talk to somebody. I need... All this... I need... You are confused, Adam. You should see Dr. Sykes. No. Dr. Sykes is... A creep. I want to talk to you. I need information. Because Sally... Sally makes mistakes. So maybe she's not on the botnet, huh? James Nolan. Oh. The bot network. Um, does it have something on a Richard? Richard Nolan? No, sir. Even though he's supposedly famous. Because they're not in the same world. What about his son, James Nolan? James? I'm sorry. Access to that data is denied. Oh? Denied? Who denied it? I'm sorry. Access denied. Would you like me to modify your personal settings to improve- Not now. Adam? Did I say something wrong? No, no. Look, I've just got a headache. You should see the doctor. I know. I should. Richard doesn't exist here because Adam exists. But then my son, or James Nolan, exists for some reason. And Richard's wife? Tracy Nolan. Tracy. Nolan. Tracy Nolan, yes. Photo model. Oh, um, oh! Station avatar for, 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 for when her face was scarred in a 2048. Sally? Hey. Was the accident not 2044 though? I guess not. Mm. It's hard to know because we know that our memory can be messed up too. And maybe that's what they're trying to reflect with the gameplay here. That our memory can be... False and confusing. Sally, can you hear me? I am so sorry. Make sure you get fixed up, okay? Oh, we didn't get to ask her about the rest. Dang it. Henry! My buddy! Oh, no. Memory Lane. Oh, no. Where your ancestors still live. Adam, is that you? No, it's- it's okay. Whatever. You're not real anyway. Just keep away from him, okay? Adam? Adam! I don't mind talking to you, but I don't- I don't- I'm not gonna ban you from- It's difficult, like- <sighs> I don't wanna talk to him, but if my son likes talking to him, then should I let him talk to his granddad? But his granddad is dead! That's like a freaking AI! I don't know how to feel! I don't- oh my god. I think John will hate me more, though, if I banned him from his granddad. Definitely. I think we can send the next fragment over, but can we leave? Yeah, we can. Should we have a look around outside? We haven't gone out for a bit. 